okay so i have a, a partial code here so nothing is there so the parameters so we have a two parameters so, so one is a service service status suppose for example here if you just put the get processes it will get the all the process uh, list actually what all the processes are running so uh, suppose in the processes our services this type the services what all the services are there the services are stopped running these things and all there so here we have a code like a get services and pipe symbol where the, the status is a something like that the variable okay that was get services so where otherwise a question mark dollar dot status status is equal to see currently this running status is a stop services all the services are coming okay stop started these things we just run only the running services will come okay those are this is a simple thing those results so it just you can remove this one this is a start slip so this is like a delay okay out file the file path also we are getting from the uh parameter outside of this program okay so let us uh, uh save this one uh into the desktop happy ua path get Service on. Get service on. Okay. So this is a get service on. Will be a partial skip. So if you if you just uh, keep this one into the. Okay. So this is a partial skip, right? Okay. So what we can do is so we can run the partial scripts by just uh, uh, first first we will take that partial script. So for example. What I'm saying is, so if the PowerShell script not only in the PS, so if the PowerShell script is there in the text file, that time also we can read. So what we can do, just copy this path, go to here, read text file, okay? Give that path. And let us see so whether we can able to get that particular text or not. Yes, text. So this PS text, we are just, this is just text file, right? Yes, text. If you run this one, so it will show what is there inside the that particular script. Okay, got it. So these are just read text file. So after that, so what we can do, we can just run the PowerShell. So run PowerShell, run. There is a PowerShell invoke PowerShell activity is there. If you just drag the invoke PowerShell activity, you have to pass the script path. The script path is like a PS text. PS text that is a script path you have to check this one is e script is it is a script is e script is a you, you just uh, uh, click the s and the parameters how many parameters we have here there's a two parameters this parameter names so we will create the parameters there so and uh, so the first one is a parameter values uh suppose uh running running statuses the status the next parameter is like a output path so what is output path so where you want to store that uh, uh, result okay suppose uh, i want to show the result in the same location suppose let's create a uh, services inside that copy the same path here slash uh, out services dot txt some text file okay we give the parameters and uh, uh, the values so let us run this one okay this process that folder does not have anything so let us see the folders has a one new text file okay if you open the text file so this will give all the running status running services okay suppose if i like to request that one as a stop services a stop there is a stop services is there right uh we stop just go to the parameters and give this instead of instead of running you can give the stop so this will give the, all the stop spaces list so the, it, not only this so any type of powershell script you can run by using the ui path studio okay so this is all the stop services 
came here that is a uh, the powershell running so how can we run the powershell by using the ui path so you have a invoke uh, uh, powershell code is actually invoke powershell script so you can use that one and uh, 